Now that we know the basics of npm and webpack, let's start building our React application. Create a new project called React App. You can name it any anything that you you want. And open this folder in your text editor. All right. So this has a source folder. We have a folder called Comps where we'll maintain all our React components. We then have our main app.js file which is well which is where all the react application all of our react application resides we then have static folder like before it has a build we have a custom css and then index html file we'll use bootstrap for styling we then use our custom styles we have a main app div and then we will be using the bundle.js which gets generated from webpack webpack config file stays as it is with just one change which is addition of module and the key called loaders what this does is it checks for js or jsx file extensions and if it finds those files it will then run through this loader called babel loader basically to convert jsx files into pure javascript we also have additional packages let's initiate a project as a npm project and start installing all the dependencies like react babel webpack etc open the command prompt navigate to the project folder Now type a command called npm init which will initiate this project as an npm project and allow us to create a json file in which all dependencies shall be stored. So as you can see this starts a utility to create a package.json file. You can always type help for uh, the documentation now it's asking for the name of our npm project which is this this is the default name that it suggests if you want you can change it or you can keep it as is and just hit enter version it's suggesting as 1.0.0 so let's say enter if you want any description you can add description or, or leave it blank this is the name of the app version description this isn't needed we can take this out just hit enter and here it creates a json file for us let's take out main and scripts as we won't be using it okay now let's install react and react dom packages npm install save or just hyphen s both are same react now all this well we used to install our packages which were webpack and webpack dev server globally something like this this used to install the package in users directory but what this does is it installs the package locally within this project folder and updates the json file along with the package name and its 
respective version number this is the best practice that we should be following and we should not be installing any dependencies or packages globally so that users will get to know what packages are dependent on this particular project okay so let's install react if you want to install multiple packages you can give space react dom hit enter once installation is complete you should be able to see that the j package.json file will be updated with the dependencies of react and react dom you should keep in mind that whenever you type npm install react or any package name for that matter it always installs the latest version in this case it is 15.4.0 release candidate if you want to install a specific version you can always give at the rate 15.3.2 all right now that we've installed react and react dom let's install the other dependencies let's save these as dependencies in our json file so hyphen s or save both the same you can also save them as dev dependencies which you know just keeps dependencies and development dependencies separate so let's do that for that the command is hyphen d or save dev both the same so let's do this copy it open your command prompt right click and paste and hit enter so that it will install all the dependencies right now if you see it has created a node modules and in node modules we have react and react dom so there it is it has installed all our dependencies and it has named it as dev dependencies